they're spending most of their time alone on social media. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? That's sad. Wow, I wonder uh, how much money and time they spent. Uh, hopefully a lot. On that. I Did mean, they, I'm not saying it's yeah. not sad. I'm just saying, like, who didn't already know that? This was kind of weird. I felt kind of good. I was watching uh, these seniors in high school, and they were building a tiny house, and they're outside in their backyard working on it. I was like, oh, that's actually kind of cool to see people outside making things at that age instead of, you know, playing online games. Both of my kids outside all the time. Yeah, they're outdoor kids, Mm -hmm. right? Yeah. And that's the thing. We're so fast to blame these days big portion sizes or junk food or whatever for the fatness. It's the lack of any activity. Yeah. Now, both my kids, man, they eat like billy goats, mm-hmm. but they are active. And they're so skinny. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they are. Lucky. Okay. okay. Uh, back in 2010, 44% of high school seniors said that they would gather with friends in person almost every day, but that number dropped down to just 32% as of last year. And the typical eighth grader spends just one day a week socializing with friends. <laughs> one day? Yeah. I mean, they're, they're still seeing their friends, but a lot of that is on social media, mm. FaceTime and whatnot. Do the real thing. Yeah. yeah. Got to be out cruising yeah. the chicks, dude. Right. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Um, the ball. <laughs> got some other oh, reallys. Okay. If you're interested, a therapist is making news, you guys, with a technique that he says can weed out the creeps on a dating site after you've matched. Ooh, okay. He says the texting phase is the perfect time to figure that out. And he lists five things to look for. As opposed to okay. when. <laughs> <laughs> when, you, when you meet up in right. person. There are okay. two phases. I did, I did tell you this is under the umbrella of, oh, really? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, they start asking for personal information too quickly. They might be a creep. They start sexting way too early. Noise. Now, Seabass, number three here is they start negging you, which you've said is actually a, a technique, a strategy. But, you know, the problem is people don't know how to do it properly, and they just go straight they, to, like, nasty insults. Yeah, they mm. go way yeah. too hard. <laughs> so for those of you who might not have heard your spiel on this before, give a good example of, like, a, uh, the proper way to neg. Okay, let's let's say uh, I'm looking. Let's say, for instance, Sammy's right here. And uh, I was talking to her, blah, blah, blah. I see her photo. It's, like, as she is right now, and we match or whatever, and go oh, hey how are you blah 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 blah. i might say something like um uh god i want to how about you try to think of a good one yeah i'm trying to think of one that's like not gonna piss her off too much like oh my god it's so nice that you you go natural with your eyebrows interesting right. so that's like a and then and then the reaction is supposed to be what like oh and i would get, be like it, oh thanks no you would be like what about my yeah. eyebrows yeah. exactly <laughs> oh yeah so definitely it's, it's what pissed? do you mean by that <laughs> Like oh. it's, it's a compliment, but it's but it's like something that somebody okay, so something that they would get yeah. defensive the, about. Yes, right, but right like, away, but just just mild, enough, just yeah, just a teeny touch. Okay, just want to get a little bit of doubt, a little bit of self. Uh, you I would have, I would, <laughs> I would never do that. Well, because otherwise you're just yeah. like, oh baby, you, cause, uh, the, oh, because no, I'm not, it's not oh baby, but so I'm so no, saying, but it's, it's like, like you're like, constantly <laughs> kissing their ass, like. The best yeah. strategy in the room is somebody that you're interested in, but can you, who you think is attractive, who probably gets attention from other people. But can't you be kind and fun without being... That was kind and fun. Yeah. Right. Well, see, Beth, your goal is to make her slightly insecure. Right. So exactly. she doesn't think she's worth that much, so maybe she'll settle for you. That'll work. Yeah, that, and that's, that's the... Exactly. <laughs> yeah, that's but the exactly problem right. is... That'll work. It sucks, but that's the yeah. game because you have to make yourself stand out yeah, because right. everybody else is kissing their ass. All right. Exactly. Well, I'm saying that you could be nice and kind, but it's not kissing ass. Well, well that doesn't stand l- out. Well, let either. me know how that works out for you. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I outkicked my coverage plenty fine. Being nice and kind. somehow worked. But you guys were friends together. Yeah. That's true. You didn't have to swipe her on an app. Uh, they're elusive and never give a straight answer, and they're pushy and don't respect boundaries. These are all ways... <laughs> To find out in the texting phase, weed out creeps before a date, you guys. Ooh! Yeah, really? Really. Huh. Good, solid advice. Good, mm. solid advice. Oh, really? Mm. <laughs> the good people over at YouGov, they put their time and money into another more than worthy study, this time about living on Mars. Okay. And they found that most people don't want to live on Mars. <laughs> <laughs> 
You're kidding. Yeah, I'm not, shocked. Not current day Mars. You got to build that out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Put some yeah not modern not day Mars, Mars as it stands. Yeah, yeah. got to yeah. build it up a bit. Yeah. I need a couple of Taco There's Bells up in there. There's got to be some terraforming. Yeah. Some um, space casino. <laughs> yeah. Seventy-five percent of adults say they have no desire to live there. <laughs> That's it. Just seventy-five. Yeah, right. That seems low. What? How is that not ninety-nine? Yeah. <laughs> well, maybe the twenty-five yeah. percent was thinking about the future and having some raisin canes up on there or something. Yeah, maybe. That's probably it. Yeah. Maybe. All right. Uh, here we go. Oh, really? Very shocking new report. Says that eating fewer calories can keep you healthier and help you live longer. What? Yeah, that's according to researchers at Columbia University. <laughs> A healthier diet? Is yeah, good now, for you? if you eat less calories, that'll help keep you healthier and help you live longer. Now, to figure that out, because, you know, you can't just go, oh, that makes total sense. Right. You need to prove it. They studied the DNA of 145 people after telling them to go on a diet for two years, and they found that the people who cut calories were in better shape than a group of 75 who didn't go on a diet and ate what they wanted. This is shocking. I know. <laughs> Shocking. Are we kidding? Yeah, but that non-calorie diet people, they were happier. That right. is also yeah. true. That is also. I and saw something. Calories are a myth. Yeah, I oh, saw yeah. something we about all know Splenda. It. Thanks, Rave. Agreed. <laughs> Splenda is the best-selling artificial sweetener in the country. And I mean it's it's in everything. But uh researchers now claiming that Splenda can damage your DNA. Is so it? yeah, there's sucralose, right? Which is in Splenda. Huh. That's been found to break apart the DNA and chromosomes can lead to cancer and other things. And they found that it can cause intestinal damage. Um, But, I mean, the people who make the Splenda, of course, they say the products are safe. So (laughs) don't 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 trip. Don't trip. It's fine. It's just Uh, better DNA. Yeah, Yeah. the World Health Organization recommended that artificial sweeteners like Splenda Splenda not be used for weight control. Okay. Yeah, just go full sugar. Yeah, exactly. (laughs) Yeah. Avoid it. What's, yeah, at that point, it's like, well, what's, what's worse? You know, it's a lesser of two evils. Right. Like when you're trying to make a lifestyle change or you're trying to be better, you take the lesser of two evils. It's not like you're going to go from eating like, you know, how most of us do to all of a sudden you cut sugar completely out of your diet. Yeah. But when you say, oh, I'm trying to lose weight, I'm quote on a diet, which is a stupid phrase. Everybody's on a diet. Mm-hmm. Um, and you switch to diet soda. That's stupid. Don't right. drink soda, period. Well, I mean, look, the thing that's is. dumb. Well, I mean, I've I've Switched managed to, to lose. Well, I've managed to lose a lot of weight, uh, a few different times, mm-hmm. seventy five pounds plus or whatever. And uh, you could drink diet soda. That's not what makes you gain weight. The weight gain comes from people who then can't control what they're eating otherwise. Because the 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 artificial sweeteners will make you crave other sweet things because you have that taste. You have you're getting that reward uh, in your brain mm-hmm. by getting that sweet taste, and it'll make you crave other things. Now, if you can avoid the other things. You won't gain weight. Sure. It's not going to make you like diet soda is not going to make you gain weight. If you eat otherwise, you're eating fine, and you stay away from oh, the cookies and the cakes and the dark chocolate oh, yeah. peanut butter comes <laughs> from Trader Joe's. Yeah. Or that cake Menace got the other day. Oh yeah, yeah the eight layer oh. chocolate joint. Yeah, I'm not oh. saying there aren't other things that can happen. You know, esophageal you know issues or whatever with and- um, <laughs> Esophageal? Is that what you Esophageal. Yeah. Esophageal. Esoph- esophageal. Like problems with your oh, esophagus. I, I mean, I like esophageal. Esophageal, whatever. <laughs> that actually makes um, more sense. There's other things that can go wrong. There's other things that can be caused by any kind of like carbonated stuff or right. there's other stuff that goes on, but like it's not making you gain weight. Right. But I mean, if you're trying to lose weight, why are you, oh, I'm going to switch sodas. Just switch to water. Because it's if not you're that eating, easy, yeah. Greg. I'm yeah. saying if you're it eating the other done. thing, if, if you're eating well otherwise, like that, that diet soda could be just. You know, innocuous. It's your treat. Yeah. yeah. Well, no, it's just because man, your dessert. Sometimes water. So oh, God, oh. you got to choke it down. Uh-huh. I mean, menace, right? Yeah. yeah I feel well, you, dog. I, dr- I drink water, <laughs> but like, choke it down. Well, the guy that water. I know that's super in shape, he's like, you should only be drinking water and black coffee, and that's it. Cool, cool, bro. You do you. That's it. I mean, that his work. life seems really fun. There you go. There. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. His life is pretty fun. Yeah, I could tell. Is it? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, he doesn't deprive himself at all. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's gonna he's gonna wake up one day and he's gonna be like, man, you know what, man, I'm really glad I didn't have that ice cream cone, right? Or that one beer, years ago. <laughs> that or that beer, right? 
<laughs> My God. Yeah, look how good my body's going to look in this box. <laughs> Super passed. cool. Yeah.